guys did a short video a minute ago. It's uh, the one like Pirate Dog, look. I found this. It's a Bronze Age roundhouse. I uh, live not far away. They're shutting off the whole field now because they've found loads of uh, kind of pines and everything here. Um, hopefully this one won't keep defocusing. I've got to bring the Osmo pocket out. That's the causeway. What would have run from it? Look, all the way down there. There's all your post holes for the round house. There's a pit hole in the middle there. That's the doorway there. Some other kind of causeway running along here too. You know what I mean? They're finding quite a lot of um, ground movements and everything like that. So we'll have a, a little wander and have a look. Hopefully this camera won't defocus too much. How about that? A bit of Bronze Age. A bit of Bronze Age right on your doorstep. I live just over there. It keeps on wanting to defocus, don't it? And now the rain's coming in. And the dog's pulling me every other way. There's the entrance look, to the roundhouse, just here, where Archie is. Notice the post holes, not one there, and it follows the causeway that goes out, because this would have been marshland. Absolutely excellent. See all the upper holes that got all the flags in and everything. Imagine the history here. Around my town, they have uh, in a clay pit over that way, um, a good four mile. They found um, the best preserved Bronze Age settlement ever known to be found. They call it the uh, the modern Pompeii. It's Archie inspecting it as well. Don't worry, I'm not going to mess around or pick anything up or anything like that. This is just to document it, because it's being kept quiet. And I'm sure in the old days, if you found stuff like this, you weren't allowed to build on it. You had to rebury it over for future prosperity or something. But here, I know for a fact they are going to put the houses on top. They're here for five weeks doing the archaeology, so the... Uh, Archaeologist told me there's another causeway you'll see that runs down there. So it makes me think they're going to probably find more, more roundhouses because that dark patch just there, I was told from the archaeologist, was 18th century quarry, the quarry pit for something. <laughs> that bit didn't tell me. Sorry, guys, it's raining as well so. There's a drip on the camera, let's see if I can get rid of that. Yep. And you also get some very suspicious neighbours looking at me as well. Let's see. As you can see, look, there's vines and everything underneath that one. We won't be touching that. There's got to be a tree root the fountain in there. Don't look like dinosaur bone, <laughs> shaking. I 
On your doorstep though, oh brilliant. I so wish they would give me permission to follow it inside while they were digging. Do like a little documentary on it, but uh, you know what it's like these days, everyone says no. There's a load of little round holes just over there. I wonder if that was a little small round animal hut or something. Makes me think this was a, a Bronze Age settlement as well, not just one house or something. You notice flags go where they find stuff. This is going to be the road out when they finally build it, one of the roads out. We'll slowly start to notice circles that where structures were, post holes like. So one big one over there, one small one here, one that's obviously been disturbed over there. They're stripping and cleaning that side there, ready. And I'm guessing they're going to have to do this whole field over here as well, which would be good because it gets right next door to my house in. I wish uh, the one like Mr. Jesus, folks, the one like Ian K. Steed, you guys would love this, mate. I wish he was here. Proper bit of uh, history, eh? Normally the local dog walking field, but as you can see with all the fences, they're going to cut all that off now. And then something runs this way, something over there as well, look. I found something in there, look. And then it runs off. This is all the new strip land here, so that's probably still going to have to be looked at. keeps pulling me other ways. That's why mainly the focus is going on this one. Archie, can you follow me and not oh, look at whatever you're looking at? Something under there, look. But yet again, won't be interfering. More holes there. More there, look. That looked like they're trying to find something there. See, it goes around in a circle. So I think, oh there you go, it is. Yeah we are. One, two, three. I'm standing in the centre of a roundhouse. So there was a, a good little settlement here then. Yeah, they're finding post holes. That would explain the causeway. And it looks like they're going to find a structure here. That's amazing. Uh, AD Wood, I think you would like this as well. Um, blow 8 cylinder in it, if I remember rightly. And uh, I'd like to also dedicate to this someone, because I know you would love this, being a uh, history buff and everything. So this one goes out to Cindy, Bernie Sands Exploration, Arizona. I hope I got Arizona right. Uh, yeah, I think it did. And there's another circle of formation. Oh, that is the one. That's one we was on, weren't it? And uh, also dedicate to everyone that follows us and gives us support. Thank you very much. The one like Craig Storer. Congratulations on your wedding, mate. Your present will be on its way this week. There you go, guys. We've got as much as we can in because tomorrow I won't be able to get in here. The fences are going up, look. I found something there, look. Um, explain to me, because the ground's dark here, they know something else has happened here. So maybe this is a quarry and bit as well. Um, but these lines, you see, they're from the Dutch, when the Dutch came along and they put the drainage system in the fens, which is where we are, because this all used to be sea, basically, that's why we're called Whittlesea. Um, they took the seaway and put the SEY wire now at the end, but these are the old Dutch drainage pipe systems. They came along and done for us, to drain all this land so we could use it, because this town here was sort of on a bit of high land. 
hence the reason you're getting a lot of these round houses discovered. There you go, look. See all these smashed up pipes, look. That's the old drainage system. So you're surprised when they were putting that in that they didn't find it then. Or was they just not bothered? Uh, I'll tell you what a channel I do recommend though. Uh, Harold Boulder, that guy is amazing. He's absolutely amazing, Harold Boulder. There's something circling coming around here look, as well. But yeah, if you're on YouTube, go and judge out Harold Boulder. He's, uh, like, what a guy does for people is amazing. I know for a fact if I had that many subscribers or followers, I'd be doing something very similar as well. Anything to help out people. Another circle of formation seems to be coming up on here. Oh, there's another circle there as well. Oh, there's another one just here. Oh, wow, I think I'm standing once again in something. Right, brilliant. Absolutely amazing. We'll go this end and then I can get up there and walk back that way. Oh, can I? No, I can't, I need to use that way. Back to that end, so I'm not jumping up and down things, guys. There you go, Bronze Age settlement. Love it. I'll keep coming back and sort of filming from the fences and stuff like that because the mounds will let me get high enough over. Because uh, you can't keep filming through Harris fencing, it's a bloody pain. There's something here again as well, look. Sorry, look, that's Archie, look, he's, uh, he's been doing this all the way round. <laughs> Now he's let go though, I said that. No, he's not getting back out of it. It's getting very wet underfoot. This would have been the old shoreline in one day, you see, this is why you get a lot of the gravel and the sand around here. But there you go. Oh. So from the one like me and the uh, pirate dog, Archie, there you go. That's the uh, Bronze Age settlement, round houses, nothing like that. I hope you enjoyed it guys, if you do and you want to give us a like that's brilliant, it just really does help the channel out, if you want to sub do that as well, brilliant, excellent, now we've got to walk back over there and uh, go and get a cup of tea, catch you again, bye.